One of the many benefits of attending baseball games at Dietrich Park is you never know who you're likely to meet. You shouldn't live in the past. It's dangerous. But to visit it is a, just a, a wonderful experience. a big Cincinnati Reds fan and uh, when I had the opportunity to play in Detroit and play for Sparky Anderson for six years that was a real thrill for me. Uh, you know, Alan Trammell, if you've ever been around him, is one of the most professional, courteous, just uh, a class class guy. And uh, Alan made me feel as comfortable as any young player could feel. He's the first player to come across and introduce himself to you. Uh, he's that way with every young player. Uh, it never, never at any point that I feel that I was trying to fill Alan Trammell's shoes. I wanted to uh, to uh, sort of wear my own shoes and uh, I put more pressure on myself to do that to be honest with you but uh, Alan helped me, taught me a tremendous amount, uh, was a good friend to me and a, and a great mentor and I, I tell people many times the best piece of baseball advice I was ever given Sparky Anderson gave me. Uh, he called me in his office as a rookie, looked across the locker room and said uh, do you see that gentleman right over there and he pointed to Alan Trammell and he says Watch him and do what he does and you'll be just fine. That was the only advice I really ever needed. Uh, I remember rainy days like we have today mm -hmm. or rain delays like we had at last night's game. And he would fire that pipe up and sit down in the tunnel and start telling stories from the Big Red Machine or about uh, Alan and Lou when they were young players and Lance and Kirk Gibson and what they were like and the smell of that pipe and him telling those stories are some of my favorite memories. I learned how to compete by the Kirk Gibsons and the Jack Morrises. I, I learned, you know, perseverance and, and Chet Lemon, my first locker mate, what a great career he had. Well, the blooper that's shown every year, every time, is the lunacy of Steve Lyons pulling his pants down at first base when he dove head first when he played for the White Sox. It's on every blooper reel you ever see in every ballpark. Yeah, Pulls his pants down to his underwear. I don't remember the details of the game, but there was a close play at first base. Steve Lyons was playing for the White Sox at the time, you know, sort of a mediocre, uh, just a hustler type player, and dove head first into first base, which you really should never do. And I guess he's covered in dirt. He gets up and pulls his pants down to knock the dirt out in front of however many people were at the game that night, underwear and all, and then acts surprised that he did it. I know Steve a little bit. I think he's goofy enough to have done it on purpose. And he's also goofy enough not to have had a clue or forgotten where he was right. entirely. But uh, I remember thinking that was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life. And it's on every blooper reel I've ever seen in any ballpark I've ever played in.